Happy Wednesday, everybody. So excited to have Kelsey here. Thanks for joining us. Let's jump in. And I would love to start and just know more about how and why you got into this space. After I graduated school, I had about $130,000 of debt. So I found myself in a very interesting predicament where I had to teach myself financial literacy and I had to teach myself quickly, not only manage my debt, but manage my spending and my investing. By 2020, I found myself, you know, finally in a place where I, I realized I could take a leap. I had managed to get control of my finances and really wanted to help other people get started and, and get a handle on on their own. Starting your journey doesn't just mean saving. It means so much more beyond that. And it's all about identifying and recognizing your own money story and paving a way forward. What role do you play in the wealth yeah. space? And why do you think that's important? I think I play a couple different roles. One being the improvement of financial literacy. And two being, I want to get more women investing. When I talk to people about Tardy, I tell them that we are a completely gender agnostic platform built with women in mind first, similar to companies like like Bumble, where they're solving a problem where women were having issues dating, yet the platform invites anyone regardless of their gender. So I spoke to about 50 different women about their experience investing and a conversation that continued to come up was I just take my boyfriend's investment advice or my significant others or parental figures. There was a, a major lack of autonomy. I wanted to create a platform that was empathetic enough to invite specifically women into the conversation and make them feel safe and not dumb because the investment community has the ability to lock a lot of people out because it's so full of jargon and, and it can seem quite intimidating. We're all supposed to be and can be participants of it. If you have cash and savings, you are a participant of the, the financial services industry. And I also found that 84% of women felt misunderstood by investment marketers. After building that content, I wanted to create a place for them to get started, which is now Tardy, which um, involves a lot of behavioral psychology features. So not only is it a place for you to start investing and creating a financial plan, once you educate someone, they're more willing to participate in conversation. And once they're more willing to participate in conversation, they're willing to take action. I hope to shift the needle and, you know, get more women to take calculated risk. And what do you think is one of the most exciting things you've learned or what you would want somebody to know? And it would be great to know who that somebody is for you and Tardy. Women make up the minority of investors and feel massive amounts of anxiety. Seven out of 10 of those women in the same uh, network want to make a plan to do something with their money. Mm -hmm. So although anxiety is up, women are starting to feel that they can participate in this, in this world. You know, our target demographic is age 25 to 39, but it can even be younger because there's so much power and compound interest and getting started early is so powerful. And uh, regardless of how much you start with, it's all about getting in the game. Time in the market is better than timing the market. The person that I want to engage is, you know, although you might be afraid to get started, you are a part of this program and we want to teach you how to plan for the future. The person also looks like uh, they could be older. They could be, you know, just starting creating an approach that's extremely personalized is important so we can meet that person where they are. We're working with individuals that are highly empathetic and, and willing to listen to your unique money story and even the anxieties you have around it. Is there a person or a company that inspires you most in this space? So obviously Elvest is the company that people ask us, how are you different from them? And I, I always say, how can there only be one female centered company in this space? We have such massive buying power. I hope there are so many more to come into the world. Another company that I highly admire is called Quirk. They focus on uh, helping you identify your money personality before even anything. And the purpose is if you understand your relationship to money, you're more able to improve your relationship to it. You need to identify where your comfort level is at in order for a platform to engage with you on a highly personalized level. And what advice would you give to somebody getting started, especially getting started with Tardy? There are so many different resources out there that help you. I think robo-advisors are a great way to dip your toes in after you've done the, you know, emergency savings account, you have looked into retirement benefits. 
that's when investing comes into play. I also don't think you should listen to anyone that says, this is how you do it. It's mm -hmm. all about educating yourself so you can figure out what's right for you. I think one of the more risky things you can do is, is not participating. Cash is not on your side with inflation. So definitely work toward taking calculated risks. Can't wait to see this all grow and unfold. And thank you so much for sharing everything today. This was fantastic. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate the conversation.